New information after about a month of searching. The Bear County Sheriff's Office has a murder suspect in custody. 25 year old Robert Allen is accused in the shooting death of 15 year old Noel Reyna. It happened outside of the Whataburger on Walsam and FM 78 on November 20th. The Lone Star Fugitive Task Force found Allen at an apartment complex on the city's northwest side. And that task force has been busy on the east side of town. Other members of the same Lone Star Fugitive Task Force led a crackdown on gang violence called Operation Triple Beam. They swept drugs and dealers off the streets and residents say they want to see more of it. Eyewitness News reporter Addy Guajardo spoke to residents about it and Addy, what did they tell you? Well, most of them didn't even know this operation was underway because officers kept it under wraps. But a neighborhood spokesperson tells me he heard rumors and says he noticed a drop in violence. Now U.S. Marshals, Ward, come to the door. Now a task force of U.S. Marshals started the operation to respond to the latest surge in east side crime, an area heavily influenced by gang activity. Several agencies joined the marshals trying to make a major dent in recent crime wave. During the 90 day operation, which started in September, officers arrested more than 200 criminals. They also seized more than $176,000 in drugs and another $233,000 in cash. They also confiscated more than 70 firearms. We were excited. We started seeing, seeing the joint forces uh, take action over there over the past few months. We saw some of the big game, um, game players over there kind of starting to get locked up repeatedly over and over. Um, and so it was, it was a good thing to see. Now Dillard hopes the success will develop into a partnership between residents and officers to continue tackling the violence. Now the operation is being called a huge success and officials say you could see a similar operation in the future in other neighborhoods struggling with violence. Addie Wajardo, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.